Hi kids, this is your story zone. Today we are going to read about the Lion King Part 1. The animals came from far and near across the dusty African plain. They came on padding paws and pounding hooves and flapping wings. Each beast, from the tiniest ant to the largest elephant, made its way to Pride Rock. For that was the home of the Lion King, and this was a special day in the Pride Lands. Today Simba, the firstborn cub of King, Mufasa and Queen Sarabi, would join the great circle of life. The animals took their places and bowed to King Mufasa. Then Rafiki, the wise baboon, stood at the edge of Pride Rock and held up the little cub for all to see. A great cry rose from all the animals. The ELE dash, fans trumpeted, the zebras whinnied, and the birds sang for joy at the sight of Simba, the future Lion King, but one animal did not join in the joyous seer dash, Moni. Scar, the king's jealous brother, stayed in his den. Later, Scar just laughed when the king's advi dash, Sor, Zazu the hornbill, criticized him. Then the evil lion popped the bird into his mouth. Scar would have eaten Zazu if Mufasa hadn't come along just in time. Zazu wiped his feathers off and scolded, as the king's brother, you should have been first in line at Simba's ceremony. Scar's green eyes gleamed. I was first in line until the little hairball was born. That hairball is my son and your future king, Mufasa growled. Scar slinked away. Don't turn your back on me. Mufasa warned. Scar looked back over his shoulder. His eyes narrowed. Perhaps you shouldn't turn your back on me. Simba grew quickly. One morning Mufasa took his son to the top of Pride Rock and told him, the circle of life never stops turning. One day the sun will set on my time as ruler and rise with you as king. Then, everything the light touches will be yours, what about that shadowy place? Simba asked, Mufasa declared, you must never go there. Suddenly Zazu swooped down and squawked, hyenas in the pride lands, Mufasa frowned. Zazu, take Simba home, ah, dad, can't I come, Simba whined, Mufasa shook his mighty mane. Fighting savage hyenas was no job for a cub. Later, Simba asked his uncle Scar about the shadowy place an evil plan formed in Scar's mind. Only the bravest lions go to the elephant graveyard, Scar told him. He knew the foolish cub would go there just to prove his bravery. Scar was right. Simba couldn't wait to go to the elephant graveyard with his best friend, Nala. But how could they go with Zazu watching? Every move they made, we've got to ditch the dodo, Simba whispered, Nala giggled and agreed. Soon the two friends found a way to escape their feathered babysitter. Before long the young lions had reached the dark, mysterious place beyond the borders of the pride lands. Giant bones poked out of the ground, it's kind of scary, Nala whispered, let's check it out, Simba said. I laugh in the face of danger. Ah, uh, he 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 cackled three mean hyenas, Shensi, Banzai, and Ed, look, boys. A king fit for a meal, Shensi, snickered. The cubs ran, but soon found themselves cornered, Simba stepped bravely in front of Nala and tried to roar. RRR. Thanks for watching, have a good day kids.